little May camp up here. Good old Kentucky. Got the firewood made up. Phil brought his cool cooker put over top of the fire ring. Everything's getting ready to go. We've uh, been getting uh, firewood up. Not sweaty. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be good. We don't have a whole lot of people here just yet, but I'm sure they will be soon. Y'all uh, stick around with us. I'm going to rest a minute. It's been a long ride. It's been a long time since 4 o'clock this morning. Y'all hang in here. Try to have us a good time. Make sure you get a shot of me with my fishing pole, all right? Phil, come down here with a fishing pole. There ain't no fish. There ain't no fish and ain't no water. There ain't no water for the fish. Ain't no, ain't no. Maybe some dead ones in there. It's rain. <laughs> That's crazy. Like I said, it's probably a pretty creek when it has water in it. Yeah. I guess we can see why we didn't get to go canoeing this weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's dry as a bone, boy. The Edisto's got more in it than this, but yeah. not much. <laughs> That's crazy. This is cool. <laughs> okay, Some small uh, turkey tail mushrooms on this side of this log. Well, we found the water. How much fishing are we going to do in it? Seems to be hitting a hole and disappearing. Yeah, you see that right there? Yeah. That's running from up there somewhere. Springs. Oh, it's right here, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some black walnuts. Right, we'll hit this, sir. This is doing good. Slow mountains.
Get out of the way. Oh, no. <laughs> I gotta wait up there all the way up to your big toe and <laughs> Spalded wood right there. Lots of spalded wood. There's the water. What do you think? I had to put my shorts on before I come down here. I'd take it up. <laughs> it's pretty warm. Kind of looks like the creek over the uh, uh, Walls of Jericho. I was telling you about. Here's a spot in that that looks like this. But there's a lot of spots around Kentucky that look like this too. Yeah, yeah Mother Nature didn't do that. No, it's like. It's like they set it up for baptizing them. Right, maybe. Either that or uh, just to get down in the water. Yeah. This is probably that swimming hole that ZZ was talking about. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, because the water comes up to that bottom step, or, I mean, that's. Yeah. Yeah, you can take a swim in there. Oh, yeah. The coolest spot in paradise. There you go. Look, but look at this. Get all this out of the way. So I have I have storage. I have cobwebs. <laughs> storage, right? Mm. But the best. That's a cooler, right? It is. Yeah. Need a cushion and stuff in there. Mm. And plus. See those? So wear it on your back. Pack. Yeah, you wear it on your back. And it's got a pillow. Yeah. 
These Tommy Bahama chairs are they're nice, man. I think because you can put it on your back and you got both hands free, right? Yeah. Put drinks in there, you put your book in there. Put cool. Your That's badass shit, man. Phil's got it going on. You gotta try some of these, they're amazing. Fucking candy. Yummy, yummy. Love. That's Kentucky, yeah. That day on, the indescribable taste of this bluegrass favorite would be known as a late one or the latest thing. There you go. Got that? Got late it. one, latest thing. Four generations later, I still blend the secret recipe from Uncle Lee's handwritten notes. Open one yourself and taste the tradition. Fielding Rogers, fourth generation owner. Now you know, man. Kentucky's finest ale eight. One. A late one. A late one. And somehow or another in Kentuckyation, that means uh latest thing. Yeah. I don't know why they just say the latest thing, but <laughs> a late one. It's like the the uh, Kentucky Kentucky. Fars are roaring. It would just split. No, oh, it's quiet in camp. <laughs> See, you ain't got to have a silky saw to make a good cut. What's that? You just need a feel. <laughs> You had a good rhythm going there, man. You had bow control. <laughs> Pulling the smoke out of the wood, ain't it? Yeah, it is. It's real quick, too. You can lightly blow it if you want to, don't blow it too hard because you'll blow it, blow it off. Bird's nest, real gentle. Just sling it all over. <laughs> Got some good amber there. Kind of pinching it around it. Like this. We get a really strong pinch. Can't really blow up some good. Here you go. Pinch it in a little more.
take it to the fire pit when it rose. <laughs> you can drop it on the ground wherever it is and not worry about it. Seems like his hands is on fire. <laughs> oh, fire. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right. Mr. Bigfoot has uh, done a bow drill, ember, and the coyote's going to try to ignite the fat wood shavings with it. And the way that one worked out, the old lady was two miles closer to work, and she doesn't have to come across. She's two lane road. No, that's a, that's over. Oh, that's going to go. Just so hard. Uh, that's going to go out. It's wanting to, though. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I see it. Just go ahead and pick it up and put it in there. <laughs> I tried. Uh -huh. Can you get it back on your face? Get in there now. <laughs> Yeah, that's really hard. Nope. Get a big enough one in there, it'll work though. They all get, that's what my son was telling me, he said, he said, they're spending so much money over here. I said, well, that's good to know. It's like, it's my tax dollars, right? Yeah, he had a good old time over there. They went up to, uh, they went up in the mountains between Spain and France, and there's a, there's a um, resort up there. I thought they were going to be living in the woods like this. They actually stayed at the, at the resort. They had a suite, you know, and I'm like, oh, that's rough. And it, but there was a lake that freezes over. And they went up to do uh, ice dive calls. And so they pitched a tent out in the middle of the lake and took a chainsaw and cut a hole in the ice. And so that all their divers, because all the EOD are divers, uh, that's ordnance disposal, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, they all you know, put their, their gear on for that and went down for and did whatever they did to get signed off. They had to requalify every year. Uh, like I said, my son, he's a CB. He's a support for them. Uh, but uh, but he got to go on a lot of their stuff with them. And, uh, but he, he sent me a video. It's like he stripped to his skivvies and did the polar bear plunge. They put a rope on him, and it's like he barely got wet. I mean, he went completely under, but he went boing, boing, like that. He wasn't in there very long. Yeah, but it was cool. It was like his little initiation to the unit, though. And uh, yeah, So he was over there for three years. He had a blast. So he's in Poland now. I told him, I said, uh, I said, the biggest expense is getting over there. He said, I said you're, it's, the builders, they do everything. Because the CBs have got, well, they got equipment operators, you know, the bulldozer right. drivers, and they got uh, construction electricians, and they've got like uh, some of the other ones. Again. But the builders, uh, he's pouring concrete and laying asphalt and doing framing and doing cabinetry and uh they teach them how to survey uh you know, you know blocks and brick and you know all that stuff and it's like civil engineer on the way <laughs> right 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 but it, it's it's interesting he's already hooked up with the it's called uh nav out of uh, st louis and they have they're just like 300 foot cruise boats are high end uh, no, no casinos. They do like uh, nature cruises. They bring uh, uh, naturalists on board to lecture. And then, like well, I know they were down in Costa Rica, I did a job down there. Uh, they take them in the jungle, take the passengers. It's like this bird, this plant, you know, stuff like that. And uh, 
but that same boat, they hit a rock up in Glacier Bay. The, the chart said they should go like this and like this. He was trying to make up time and went this way. Uh, two o'clock in the morning, about 15 knots, hit a rock. And they said it was like a roller coaster ride. They busted a hole in the front end of the boat. They almost sank. They actually ran it up in the cove. They were going to run it up on the beach. And, and just run it aground because they thought they were sinking. They took on a lot of water. But uh, we went up to do that job. They took out the bow thruster and the laundry and a couple of lighting panels and a couple of the boat. We, uh, we flew into Juneau. They put us up in a hotel. Got up the next morning and went to the airport. And they put us on a seaplane, and we up. flew out over Glacier Bay and, and like landed on the water. Yeah, that was a pucker factor ten <laughs> there, man. I, all I could see was that plane going bing like that. <laughs> they put Zodiacs in the water and came and picked us up, and, uh, and we passed her up and started working on it. We rode yeah. on something on a lake up there. And, uh, Are you live? Yeah, they do those northern pike and uh, walleye yeah. and stuff. And, yeah. <laughs> Oh, even Upper Michigan. Yeah, that's um, true. I've got a couple of buddies up there, like John M. O. Woodsman and Minnesota another, too. 